Hey, welcome back to uh, Lost in Random. Uh, we just finished up a running fight. We're trying to find the final card guy. I can't remember what his name is. Is he in here? No. This way, I guess. The Rule Master, that's it. Hell did you? That's... It's impossible! They cancel out! Okay. So, if we allow each fighter and an arena to... Oh, come on, Rule Master! You can do this! You're the best, remember? The best! You can do the impossible five times before breakfast. And the Queen asks for six. Even. Even! Yes! Every even roll gets a plus one bonus against every odd roll! That'll... Wait, no. That just turns all even rolls into odd rolls! Oh, never mind. Wait, who are you? You're the one with the card, right? Even something? The alchemist told me you'd be coming. And I'm sorry even with the card, but I've simply got too much to do to help you. Oh, of that I have no doubt. Everything around me is double plus important, do yesterday sort of stuff. Look at this. New layouts for her twisted arenas. Do ASAP, of course. New mechanics for the battles due last week, assigned yesterday. Five. Five new robots with complementary battle bot attack structures! And you try telling the queen, or her bloody nanny, or even those deadly three heads, that they ask for the impossible. Ha! I may be an ancient mystic trained in the art of crazy rules more than anyone else in all of history, but even I'm not a god. I've come to accept that now. But does she care? Tell me, does she? Correct! <sighs> Look, your card has arrived in here somewhere, and I'll get to it when I can. Oh, you've seen him too? What's that bloody cosmic potato come up with this time? Let's take a look at your card. Oh, perfect. Just perfect! As if I didn't have enough insanity on my plate already. Ooh, but then I do love a challenge. So, what the heck? I'll do it. When I'm done, I'm going to send the card to the highest point in all of five Tropolis, to the top of the giant chimney. Ha! You'll be dead in minutes. You need the five of us card makers there with the card if you want any chance of success. Up there, me and the other card makers will imbue the card with all our creative spark. But the ceremony cannot be interrupted. Even, just meet us at the top of the smokestack. The card will be there. Assuming this works, You'll have bigger things to worry about real soon. Yes. No. Yes. There. I mean, I guess it could work. Well, what's done is done. Now hurry. I'll be right with you. Okay. Seventy-one. Wow. Thank you. Oh, I've got cars to trade. Don't you want to fall asleep? There's our ghost. Let's uh, what do we not use? Don't use you. I could do without you. More rule, man. 
Master Bow. One more card. I know you do. <laughs> Treason, treachery, perfidy. He even had sown the seeds of insurrection all around her. But now, this vile, hateful creature was on her way to discover why she should have respected her equal. And never betrayed her queen. Even over here! The ceremony begins. There is others coming, friends, lots of others. Mm, keep them back. We need to focus. Child, cover us! Let's peek ahead to the end of this story, shall we? Oh, look at that! It says, even lost and died alone and unloved. The yeah. end. I have the same ending so accurate, while at the same time also being so deeply, deeply satisfying. was about to end. All she was doing was delaying it. All she was doing was buying herself more punishment. Nothing 
but a little girl, lost against a swarm of robots. She deserved to die. She'd earned it. Where's the queen shot? Why I prefer my spells to my society. There we go. By the way, it's all right, though. It's done, Lamb. We've done it. The rest is up to you. And more robots are coming, though. Oh, so how does it work? You can only use it in your dreams, child. I have to fall asleep? My dream card. Of course. All I need to do is sleep. Okay, even you can do this. It's like Uma taught you. Relax.
Sextopia. Almost there. The dread I've been feeling, it's gone. Yeah, it's I don't know. Something's still missing. But Dicey, I know we're moving in the right direction. Whoa. It's not like anything I've seen before. I guess it doesn't look so nice behind it. Okay, I don't think they spotted us. This doesn't look right, but it's gotta be the place. The Grand Gate to Sextopia. Huh? What? What happened here? I don't understand. Is this really it? Maybe this is... Like a fake Sextopia, meant to confuse invaders or something? Everything's cardboard, that's kind of hilarious. I don't believe this! Sextopia is supposed to be this whole wondrous place that grown ups have been telling us about since the day we were born! And it's fake? It's all a lie? What is going on? None of this makes sense. that coming from now now annabelle we use our polite words around others remember hmm? <laughs> raymond what are you doing whispering things like that <laughs> manners man manners <laughs> <laughs> you said it sure not me tiffany 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 how many times have we discussed this we don't slouch over when we're out oh i see where, Alfonso, if I have to break up one more fight between you and Olivia? Nah. Good morning, lovelies. Good morning, Charles. Why don't you look handsome today? <laughs> oh, heck, I'm just the same old man I always was. But bless your heart for lying, lovelies. <laughs> oh, you're here too, Albert. Hey, ugly. I'm a big, stupid cardboard person, and I'm Charles' least favorite because I'm a mean, stupid idiot who falls apart all the time. Yes, yes, Albert. We're all familiar with your whole deal. Excuse me, uh, Charles? Cutouts? Why, that's a fine way to refer to yourself. Don't be rude. Besides, would a cardboard cutout start talking to me five years into my job here? <laughs> it would not. And since you lovelies have been talking to me every day since, let's just say I know you're all more than what you seem. <laughs> Even if Albert here keeps... Huh, you love it. We've been here for 60 years. Yeah, what? 
<laughs> Though, of course, not much actually does go on here. <laughs> you stand around and I... Easy peasy. Of course you are. No, we're real. If we were fake, could my head fall off all the time? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you dare, Albert. I Alone? Ha! I'm surrounded by friends here. <laughs> There's Bedelia, Claude, Claude 2, Snuggle Buns, 8 Ball, Big Tony, Little Tony, Average Tony, the hated Albert. <laughs> Boingy Woingy, Peanut Butter and Jam, they're twins. <laughs> Don, Donner, Donist, Don Ultimate, Don Penultimate, Don Ultra Penult, Don... Well, I don't need to tell you. You, 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 you don't talk like the others, do you? She sure doesn't. Should we be suspicious? No, no, it's okay. Yeah, my earliest memory, hmm. It's when my head first fell off, 40 years ago. <sighs> no, it's when... No. No, it was when I was young. Just, just a child, really. The nanny came for me in that, that, that chariot that walked like a spider. She dropped me here. Told me my only task in life was to take care of these props. She said my fate was never to be anything more than a forgotten janitor. And then she disappeared, and she never came back. But all I've done for every day of my life since then was live here alone, so profoundly alone, surrounded only by these these parodies of life mocking me every hour of every day with their ageless faces and painted on smiles and I <laughs> oh, so I thought but then five years into it y'all started talking to me and you've never stopped since <laughs> and now you're an old man surrounded by friends who'll never die ha <laughs> I sure am lovelies <laughs> The nanny? No, not in any way that counts. That's true. Her chariot goes by sometimes, but it only goes up to the tower. Up there. We hear nothing. How can they be so quiet? They're enjoying quiet fun times, Albert, and that's all I will hear on the subject. Not I pass through that zigot. Look, I Nanny's chariot passes through on its way to the tower. The children get quieter and quieter as the chariot. M then we never hear them again. Oh, how I could visit them in the tower! What quiet fun they must be having! Then she's playing up in the tower all day long. How lucky. <laughs> uh, wait. Why would the Creed want the nanny to take one of us cardboard cutouts? It's never happened before. Maybe she isn't really a cardboard cutout like us. <laughs> no, she is. She's just lost her mind, that's all. Tell me about your sister, lovely. <laughs> Worried she's having to. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yes! Odd! The Queen graced us with her presence not too long past, and she had a girl with her. Odd, she called her. She wore a white mask, I remember. She looked strange. Strangely happy, yes, as are we all. <laughs> They didn't have time to acknowledge any of us, of course. She's very busy. But they went out that way, right through there. Oh, you're welcome. 
We all say thanks, don't we? We sure do. It's nice to get company. It's nice to see a new face. It's nice to be remembered at all. And hey, say hi. Reminder, I'm here. I'm still here. Jeez. Well, I'll head to this ominous green light. Ah, it's horrible. My glacier is made out of, uh, I don't know, despair. D don't get it on you, buddy. This must be it. The tower. What's inside there, Dicey? I can just feel it. She has to be. We've come so far, haven't we? But I still don't know for sure what you want me to do. Oh, cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? I know you do. <laughs> what do you got, Manny? <sighs> Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But now you're here, and Manny Dex is playing a sympathy card. You gotta buy something, mate. Please! Oh, Manny doesn't try to understand the world. All I understand is cards. And I understand now that perhaps you're... You never know who's listening, mate. Now, let's trade and forget...
final. Alright, um, I think we'll uh, wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.